Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, the debate saga continues with one thing versus another. Today's topic is baths versus showers. Alright, let's get into it. When you first wake up in the morning and you're looking an absolute wreck, what's your go-to cleanup routine? Are you the type who prefers the practical, quick, in and out of a shower? Or are you the person who says, I want a relaxing spa experience of like taking a bath? When I think hygiene, I think big. I think showers. When you shower, the water comes out of the shower head, immediately washes away all the grossness, and it's gone. All the bad decisions from the last 24 hours didn't happen. You see, that's the thing. The filth doesn't linger. Quick results, unlimited freshness every time, amazing. Or if you're possessed by a demon, you might decide to run a bath. The beginning is especially unpleasant because even though the water coming out is like really hot, there's not enough of it to like keep all of you warm. And then have you ever been like brave enough to lean fully back against the cold wall of the tub? It's the worst! So the bottom parts of your legs are suffering from second degree burns and then the upper part of your body is in the early stages of hypothermia. Who thought this would be a good idea? So what do you do? You wait there for six hours while the tub is filling up. When I was little, I used to sometimes fall asleep in the tub waiting for it to fill up. And then like as the water would rise, it would wake me up and I'd be like drowning. Nothing like breathing in half a gallon of water to relax you. Now when you're showering, it creates an enchanted wonderland of steam and serenity. I can't be the only one who gets some of my best thinking done in the shower. Pondering life, thinking of amazing comebacks to that argument I had yesterday bursting into song, and hitting all of the high notes flawlessly, without any regard to my next door neighbors who can absolutely hear every word that I'm singing. I am fully prepared to give an award acceptance speech. I'd like to thank the plumbing and the hot water tank. <laughs> without your hard work, I wouldn't be here today. Now let's look at how the bath is going. Why? And I repeat, why did this seem like a good idea? I just spent two hours in the gym growing who knows what species of fungus in all my nooks and crannies, and by this point the bath water has turned a nice shade of dark gray. Now let me just wash my face with that putrid skunk water. I mean, yeah, I'm probably gonna get an eye infection. I'm sure there are medicated eye drops for that. Back to the shower. I'm now fully clean, quick results, and I never had to be standing in my own filth. Also, can I count the me standing up as exercise? I mean, at least I wasn't just laying there floating on my back for half an hour. That has to count for something, right? We're gonna count that as my cardio for the day. Okay, great. Now back to the Black Lagoon. Is it supposed to be bubbling like that? Probably not. Am I 100% certain that there's not an aquatic sea creature swimming alongside me at this point? You know, I can't really be sure. Eventually, with this abundance of marine life, we're gonna have a whole ecosystem in here. When did the tub start growing kelp? This can't be good. Then comes the process of draining. For the shower, immediate draining. That's that. For the cauldron of radioactive sludge. You know, I'm starting to see these like otherworldly hieroglyphics appearing in the soap rings around the edge of the tub. If translated, I'm sure that message is some kind of an ancient curse. And then just to add to the experience, you've got the weird gurgling pipe sounds. Sounds like something coming from the deepest part of the sewers to haunt me in my sleep. So, to sum all of this up, showers are great, quick, effective, relaxing. Baths, on the other hand, are slow, disappointing, and potentially hazardous to your health. I mean, if nothing else, they boost your immune system? but still. So save yourself the hassle and potential bite from a sea creature and stick to the shower. You won't be disappointed. And who knows, maybe someday your shower singing will get you discovered by your next door neighbor who's actually a music producer and you'll get rich and famous. You're welcome. And there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Okay, bye!